Hello everyone, this is NVIDIA most powerful GPU on the market today and uh, as you probably know 4090 is a really really extremely massive big GPU. Let's see how it goes, let's unbox it. Okay, so 40 series GPUs has some unique, uh, quite neat features. I will show them later for you. And uh, in the next video, Camino will release their new water block exactly for this GPU. Also new GPUs 4090, also with the new water blocks will be available in RM workstations soon. Okay, what we got here? Oh my God. It's massive, it's huge. All right, what about specs? This GPU has 24 gigabytes of DDR6X RAM. Uh, it's the fastest memory in the world right now. And uh, this GPU has uh, new Gen 3 RT cores. I look forward to see how it goes uh, in Cyberpunk in native 4K, for example, uh, with the ray tracing on. According to NVIDIA, we get uh, two times more performance in uh, ray tracing tasks. Let's take a closer look at the size of this GPU. It is uh, 34 centimeters long and uh, maybe you will need to buy a new case for this GPU because uh, the size is really extremely large. This GPU has power consumption of 450 watts. Nvidia recommends you to use this GPU with a, a 1000 watt power supply. Uh, that's quite impressive and not all people will have uh, such power supplies in their systems. As I mentioned earlier, this GPU has uh, some quite unique features. One of them is uh, this bias switch right here. It has two positions, silent one and performance one. Uh, in performance mode, uh, you get all of this performance from 1490. Uh, in uh, silent mode, uh, you get your GPU work quiet, but you lose some of this performance. Camino team has already developed new water block for exactly this GPU and uh, it has one slot design. So I think it's quite handy to uh, have this kind of configuration because uh, nowadays uh, people not always want a huge case for their system. Uh, the new water block and also 4090 will be available in Camina RM workstation soon. In the next video, Camina team will prepare showcase for the new water block and uh, Gigabyte uh, 4090 gaming GPU in a pair with some, some interesting tests in uh, uh, tasks like uh, rendering, gaming or IE training. Okay, so what's aside this beauty? Uh, this is new PCI Express Gen 5 power connector. It has not only 12 volt and ground pins, but also sense pins that allow your GPU to communicate with the power supply. Uh, your power supply will always know how much power does GPU need. So let's uh, disassemble this GPU to see what's under the radiator. Here we have our PCB and there's some things I would like to show you. Uh, first one is uh, soldered mounting area here uh, on the PCB. Um, we definitely see uh, some mountings for additional power connector, that's interesting. And uh, the second area is right here. We have uh, two holes in the PCB. We don't know exactly what kind of component should be installed here. But uh, we think that Gigabyte or NVIDIA left this spacing uh, for some future products or for some maybe more extreme versions, something like that. 
The third thing is that uh, here you can see NVLink uh, lines. Uh, NVLink is supposed to connect uh, GPU memory with the NVLink, but we actually have no soldered uh, connector here. So we think all of this was done uh, with the thought that uh, there will be some kind of future products that will include all of these features. Maybe additional power connector, maybe NVLink uh, compatibility support or uh, something like that. This is our test config. Uh, the CPU installed is uh, 10700K with a 64 gigabytes of DDR4 uh, RAM running at uh, speeds of uh, 3200 megahertz. We'll run some Blender uh, tests, uh, probably some BWM and classroom scenes, uh, together with the Cyberpunk tests, and also I think we will run full mag. Okay, let's go. Right now I'm playing native 4K Cyberpunk game uh, on uh, ultra settings and uh, on average uh, we get from 70 to 85 uh, FPS uh, with some drops to 64 uh, and 65 on average. So I think this is impressive result. Second test is a uh, mark GPU utility and uh, we are currently running it uh, on the 4K resolution with the anti-aliasing of uh, MSA ATX and uh, we have average FPS of uh, 54 and uh, with the drops to 41 and to the peak to 58. All right, uh, right now we are running uh, Wii GPU RTX uh, benchmark and uh, our performance score is uh, 5,237 V-Rays. Uh, that's quite impressive. Um, my home system has uh, only uh, 4,000, I think. Uh, so yes, this is a good result. 4090 is incredible and really powerful GPU. I hope that you liked our unboxing and saw some uh, performance results and uh, testing. Uh, in next video, Kamina team will show you new water block and also uh, some more, more, more tests uh, on the different configurations, I think. Um, thank you all again. Subscribe, leave a like. Have a nice day.